So this is what you get for your special guest speaker. Uh, I think that was a, a last minute. No. <laughs> and I think the special part was, oh gosh, somebody dropped out. Shell, will you come up here and, and talk for just a bit? Uh, but thank you for having me. You know, I just want to say, this was, we had a huge conflict with today. We are uh, headed to one of our largest events called MATS, the Mid-America Truck Show. With 75,000 drivers and carriers that are located there, we have a full team there, and uh, it's something I really try to dedicate my time to, to be listening to what's happening uh, with the carrier community. But this was so important uh, that we really wanted to make sure that we're here because we do believe, Craig, in what you're doing. We do believe that freight waves is creating disruption in the market. And you know, coming from a background of 24 years inside an organization, and getting to spend time doing two turnaround stories, but also doing two startup companies inside a big legacy company, I can recognize and appreciate what disruption can look like inside an industry. And so um, a huge kudos, because you haven't just disrupted what you're thinking about today. So, so many things that Donald uh, displayed up there made me think back to what Mr. Hunt had done. And, and he never met an idea that he didn't like. And Kirk Thompson was our CEO at the time, and his job was really to make sure that he listened to the ideas, allowed the dreaming to occur, but really settle in on what tends to make sense. But we need dreamers, and we need people that push the industry to what can happen and what can be created better. And Craig, I think that's exactly what you're doing, uh, whether that's what you're doing with Freight Futures, but also what's happening in transparency around data. I can't tell you how many people I've met on the data side here at Freight Waves. And uh, if you've never been to Lowell, Arkansas, I'd love for you to come, because I think that would be a great opportunity for us to collaborate and share what's happening from a data perspective uh, overall. But you think about taking transparency around data. So we are big users with Freight Waves across their data platform. We also are big users of DAP and believe in the information that they have. And so we believe that the market is so inefficient. And the market is inefficient because there's been a lack of transparency and a lack of visibility inside the marketplace. So you look at three and a half million drivers that are in the market, 83% of those drivers drive for a carrier that has less than 10 trucks. Now, you go and you talk to those carriers, those carriers, they don't have a sales organization, they have no data scientists, they barely have anybody that prices, that's gonna be the person, uh, probably the owner that is doing that. And they really use their phone more often to talk than they do to use it as a su supercomputer in their pocket. And we have to transform the way that looks, and the reason for that is of all the available hours that are there, invisible to drive. Of the 11 hours, one third of those hours are wasted on all three and a half million trucks every single day. And that makes no sense with where technology is today, where the level of visibility is today. And see, transparency doesn't really work unless you can predict. And that's what people really want. They want the prediction to occur around the transparent information. When you can predict what is to occur, we get better as an organization. We get better as an industry overall. So that one third of waste that's happening in every single driver, I said three and a half million trucks, that includes big companies having complete waste in their system and wasting hours. And it's because there's no visibility around where the shipments actually are or what we can do that is different and different in the industry in total. And that's a huge challenge for us as an organization. And then if you looked at the Stevens Truckload Index that was reported in January, the highest recorded empty miles in the 15 years of that index at 12% of the large carrier community. So again, even large carriers are super inefficient. You look anywhere from 12 to 25%, depending on if you're a for hire carrier or you are a private fleet carrier in complete waste of empty miles. So I always say, you know, drivers like to do one thing, drive. They're not here to be good negotiators. They're not here uh, to sit and wait. And what transparency can do is help them do that very thing. And that's one of the things that we've really worked hard on inside our organization. For us, we are very focused on creating the most efficient transportation network in North America. And to do that, we think that there needs to be a platform that isn't just for the use of J.B. Hunt, but is for the use of every one of those three and a half million drivers and every one of those shippers. Now, how do we do that? 
Because so many people say, oh, JB Hunt, I don't want you to see or you compete. Well, in reality, if we really try to solve for what is wrong in our industry, the lack of efficiency. I know of no other industry that wastes that much time, one third of all hours, wasted doing nothing. I know of no one else that is doing that as an industry today. That problem has to be solved with time. So think about it like this. April 2017, we moved into our new, one of our new buildings there at our corporate campus. And that weekend was our first move-in date. We transformed our, uh, what we call our new auditorium into what I would say uh, a technology center. And we brought in every single salesperson in our organization, over 500 people were sitting in that audience. I walked into the room, and for the first time they had ever seen, I walked up on stage and showed them the disruption that not only would occur inside the industry, but was going to occur inside J.B. Hunt. And we rolled out for the first time what we call J.B. Hunt 360. Now you can imagine what was happening as an organization, because our sales organization didn't know anything about it. And you can also imagine, as we walked through that summer and I said, we're gonna do 500 million inside the platform in 2018, many, many people rolled their eyes just not to my face, just internally in their own head, and uh, thought there's no way we can do that because that's the way we're trained. We're trained that there's no way. This is the way things have to always be. We have to do bids the exact same way. We have to do pricing the same way. There's no way freight futures will work. That's the old mentality. That's the way we think because our history has us think that way. Our history makes us think nothing really will change in time. But it takes disruption to make change occur. It takes big thought leaders to make change occur. And we marched through last year. We completed at $550 million in total. And it took till literally almost the end of the year before people acknowledge, okay, yeah, we can do it. And we can do it because people want a different way to do business. People want transparency. Carriers want transparency. Customers going through last year, what they didn't like was the disruption to their budget. But even more, they didn't like that they couldn't forecast or predict what would happen on their price capacity and service. So you fast forward to today and you say, okay, what can you do with a platform? What can you do with data transparency? You know, just a little glimpse of what we think that can happen for us, our human minds can't consume what transactions can do in a real-time basis. But data doesn't lie. So if you look inside the data, inside the platform, you know, nearly 600,000 trucks inside the platform now, I would say in the tightest freight environment ever, where carriers had no need to come to a platform, they adopted very quickly because they want a new way to do business. They want full transparency inside the market. Over 20 million views, nearly 2 million offers coming in from carriers they're interested in something different, and here's what the something different is. See, in our market, there lacks trust. And the trust is lacking because there's no transparency. Because I'm having to rely on what someone tells me and if I believe them or not, versus what I can see and discern for myself. So when you give that visibility to a carrier that says, hey, you can see every single offer that's being made, and by the way, you can look at over 30,000 locations with over 200,000 reviews. And before you go to that location, you can actually see what you can expect. You can see how long it'll take you to load and unload. You can see what the price looks like. You can start to make your own decision. So instead of feeling like you're stuck with what you have, you actually can do something different with that. Now you think about that story and the power of the story and the power of the data, that's where machine learning and AI start to come into play because you start to do something different with the data. It's something that you'll do different with freight futures because you'll start to recognize the information and the power of the data of how do we take that whole concept and move that into the bidding process with our shippers. And that's exactly what I believe is going to move and transform our business over the next decade inside the organization, but also as an industry. You see, I've been with the company, I'll be on my 25th year here in May. I started two weeks out of school, I never intended to be inside the organization past about a month. <laughs> this was my short-term summer gig until I got my real job. But what I recognize is they're really great people inside the trucking industry. They're really great people inside our business. And those really great people have really great ideas. But we have to take those ideas and create a level of change 
because things aren't staying the same. Things are moving at a fast speed. And so for everybody that says things won't work, I always tell those people, if we want to get in a room and let's talk about all the reasons things won't work, we can do that because I can come up with more than probably you will. But if we want to figure out how to make things more efficient, how to take waste out of our system, how to create more transparency around data and information and make things better, not just for me, not just for our company, but for the full industry, it changes the way people think. It changes the way people come into work every single day. Because we do have a really great business model and I'm really proud of the work that we do inside our organization, but we have an obligation to create a more efficient market. We have an obligation as an industry leader to help every single driver that's on the road regardless of who they run for and to help every single shipper in North America have the very best answer to solve for their problems different. So that conventional thinking, which is if I can sell my product for the highest price possible, hopefully they'll not find out that price was too high and they'll stay with me as long as I can because I'll keep pitching why they should, versus letting the market find the most efficient way to move goods and us planning for that efficiency in the way that we should move goods. And so I just thought I would give you that as a visibility. For us, uh, you know, we're on nearly an $800 million run rate inside our 360 platform. By the end of the summer, we'll be at a $1.2 to $1.3 billion run rate. So for everybody that said that we couldn't, um, I was one of those that went on the, why can't we? But now I realize the millions of transactions, it has changed the way we do business. It has changed the way we look at market because see, a digital freight platform is not just intended for brokerage or spot. It's intended for every single shipment that moves in North America and every single piece of capacity that is located in North America as well because when you find the most efficient way to do business, you will repeat, repeat, repeat that business overall. I think Freight Waves is onto something big. I don't think it's just big on the Freight Future side. I think the power of their data will be the biggest thing that they have. And what they do with that data to transform our business and change the way we go to market. I'm excited about the future, not just in Freight Futures, but I'm excited about the future, not only for Freight Waves and J.B. Hunt, but for our industry. Thank you.